hello guys welcome back to our channel planet for tech i hope you all are doing great and learning lots by watching all the continuous episode of this series php beginner to master so guys till now we have completed 25 episode of this series and today in the 26 episode i am going to cover the remaining part of the last episode previous episode 25 the fun the topic was regular expression function so that is why i have mentioned here part 2 because in this episode we are going to cover those remaining parts what we have left in our previous episode so let's start one by one so in the previous episode we were looking few regular functions out of them we have completed three and remaining today we are going to complete in this episode so here you can see we have completed preg filter preg grape and preg match now today we are going to understand other important function so the first important function is preg split so this function takes four argument you can see here out of these first two are mandatory and other two are optional so what it does what this function does basically you can see here it takes input in form of a string and look for the particular pattern and on the basis of the pattern it breaks a string into an array using the matches of regular expression as separators so what it does basically it looks for particular character or pattern you can say on the basis of that it performs the uh, operation and returns the output in form of array so it will always take an string and returns in array format so this point you have to understand it returns array and it takes input as a string so let's see one example to understand it better way so guys here you can see we have one example input equals to the date we have and we want to print its element like date month and year so we can see there is a one hyphen separator so on the basis of this separator the, we can understand the first part is date second part is month and the third part is year so here you can see the pattern is what separator hyphen this is the pattern and this is the input so input must be in string format and output we are going to have in array format so let's see its output in the browser you can see here it is returning the output 30 10 and 2022 let's suppose we have this uh, pa other, another pattern like uh, you can say dot then what it returns or you can say this way then what it returns we can see here so it is returning date in month together and year as a separated element so this way you can use this function for extracting the element on the basis of particular match from the string so this function does preg split it splits the string on the basis of pattern and returns one array format so this is the use of this function now let's see another function so guys we can see here the next function is preg replace so this function is taking five arguments out of these first three are mandatory and the next two are optional so this function looks like similar to this preg filter both works on the same concept so both are similar so and their outputs are also similar so i'm not going to describe this because these both are similar here so you can either use preg replace or preg filter both are same the only uh, difference is in the preg filter we get output only if matches were found but in case of preg replace we get output all the inputs doesn't matter the matches is found or not let me take the example of uh, that previous one what we have done with break filter 
so we can understand it better way so guys in this example we can understand the difference between the uh, break filter and break replace what is the main difference between break filter and break uh, replace so you can see here so in case of break filter let's suppose there is no pattern found so this is our replacement character and this is the pattern so this is the subject particular so in this subject we are the subject is having chips and we are looking for chops so definitely this pattern is not available so once this pattern found then only break filter will replace the given uh, string given uh, finding with the replacement if there is no match found so it will return as a null now here we are checking the result is null or not if result is null so on the basis of that we can say some uh, statement here but in case of break replace if it not founds the match so it never returns the null, null then what it returns it returns the subject itself means here we are here we are going to get result as null because this particular pattern is not available in the subject but here in preg replace we are not going to get the null instead of that we will get the subject itself so this is the difference between preg filter and preg replace so preg filter returns null if the found not matched and preg replace returns the original string or subject if found if pattern not found there so let me show you this example in browser so this is the difference between preg filter and preg replace so you can see here in the browser the first time it is showing no match found so this is because we have used here for preg filter but preg replace it returning the original string that is chips so this is the difference between break filter and break replace now let's see the another set of function so now guys we can see here we have completed all the important functions and these remaining are not that much important so i am skipping it however uh, you will be able to download these notes from the description of this video so from there you can download it and you can uh, practice like that now i'm going to show you uh, some uh, the practical usage of this regular expression function so let me show you the example of break match how we can use it very effectively in our programming for the purpose of validation so let's suppose we have one mobile number and we want to check like this mobile number is correct or invalid we want to understand this is in a proper valid format or not so how we can do this with the help of this break match so as we all know like the mobile number is having some uh, format like uh, mobile number let's suppose i'm going to give my number so you can see here after looking this the mobile number must have the character between 0 to 9 but it should not start from zero because if we t if we are taking 10 numbers so it should not start from zero so two conditions we have to understand here before preparing the regular expression so what is the first condition so the first condition is what so the condition one is what there should be only zero to nine so for the for this we are going to have range like this this is the first condition and second condition c2 is what there it, it should not start from zero it should not start from zero so for that like, let me write it here must not begins from zero it should not begins from by zero or from zero so what we can have in the you know, first later so in the first we can have either uh, definitely it is uh, 8 to 9 definitely we have this 8 to 9 or 7 we can have so this 7 to 9 we can have at least one character not at least one only one we can have and this 0 to 9 we can have the 9 
so this way we have to perform the regular expression we have to prepare the pattern so I'm going to write the pattern so this pattern will have this way you can see and in this we are going to have this first one and the second one and we are going to check this text and this the pattern pattern will be the first argument here this way now let me echo it and let's see the output it is returning as zero why zero let me see I think we have done some mistake yes we were missing this point here so here we have this annex so this one we have to use there so we want this particular and should come only x times so this uh, pattern we have to use there so here we want like in the first character in the first digit it should be 0 uh, 7 to 9 so for that we can have the regular expression like this so this is only for first digit and remaining nine digit might be uh, 0 to 9 anything else so for this we can have like this 9 so by combining these two condition we got this so on the first position it should be 7 to 9 and in the remaining 9 digit it should be 0 to 9 so let's check the valid number first so this is the valid number I'm going to check it so it should return as 1 so you can see here it is returning as 1 and if we are changing the first digit as 0 so definitely this is 9 digit mobile number so this is not valid so this time it should return as false it means 0 let's see so it is returning as 0 so guys you have seen how we can understand the condition and we can prepare our own regular expression it is just because matter of understanding the concept of preparing regular expression if you have understood these basic concepts of regular expression nothing but modifiers patterns meta characters and quantifiers then you can prepare your own regular expression uh, in all the situations so this is only thing you have to understand about the regular expression so till now we have completed all the uh, important concepts and fact of this regular expression in PHP and in the next coming episode 27th episode I am going to bring the new topic so till that stay tuned and do practical uh, if you have any query or questions so don't forget to ask in the comment section and if you like our efforts so share this video among your friends and if you are new for this channel so don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification for our upcoming episodes so thank you guys thank you for watching and supporting us thank you